Before Young Bands would collaborate with Cole Bennett, YBN Namir, Playboy Cardi, Juice World, Little Uzi Vert, Landon Cube, and XXX Tentacion for the track I Love It When They Run. No, Rick, always cuss a check, cuss a check. Before Bands would get a shout out from X on Look At Me. Hey, shout out Bands now. Before Young Bands would get some mentorship from Young Scooter and Future. Before Young Bands would team up with Little Yachty, Ski Mask the Slump God, and Murder Beats for Fortnite. Young Bands is one of the pioneers of the SoundCloud revolution and was performing at shows alongside Playboy Cardi, 21 Savage, Ski Mask the Slump God, and X back when they were taking the stage in front of just a handful of people. Now Bands, he has an endless catalog of hits, as well as a ton of support from both underground and mainstream acts but a burglary and murder charge he caught when he was just 15 will cause the major hiccup in his destiny for greatness. Now this video, it's a pretty epic one because we have tons of never before seen footage and insight into the beginnings of this SoundCloud rapper era. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden documenting the life and career of young bands prior to fame. Here for you of course on Before They Are Famous. Now for this piece, I was actually able to get a hold of young bands who is currently on house arrest and he generously gave me an hour of his time for an interview. It's young Bands, and this is my Before I Was Famous. We have another video interview happening with Icy Narco later this week, and you guys gotta let me know who's next in the comments down below. Also, a huge thanks goes to Candy Pets for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into Young Bands. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! According to FamousBirthdays.com and XXL, Will Young Bands was born on May 25th, 1999 in Southside Union City, Atlanta, Georgia. Now, although the birth date is accurate, he told me he was in fact born in St. Louis, Missouri. And his birth name? Well, it's Vaz Coleman. He comes from a rather large family with two sisters to two brothers, him being the second youngest. During his earlier years, his father was locked up behind bars, but prior to this, Will Vaz was witness to police raids on his home with his father mixed up heavily in street life. Eventually pops, will he go to prison for 10 years? Now his mother moved her four children to Atlanta and there was a time in Vaz's life where his family was all torn up living in different places. Mom, she was hard up for work and she couldn't properly take care of her kids. While she lived on the streets, she sent her kids to live with different family members and Vaz, he ended up in a senior citizen's nursing home when he was in the third or fourth grade. Now he took an interest in the same things most kids enjoy, I'm talking Pokemon and anime, although he told me he isn't a fan of Dragon Ball Z and he's more of a soul eater kind of guy. So let's take a quick look. He also told Lyrical Lemonade about his favorite movie. Called How to Train a Dragon. <laughs> and movie five. He's also a fan of hood movies and has white chicks on DVD. Now from a young age, Vaz knew that he had talent. He experimented briefly with writing down lyrics, but it wasn't until his uncle, an amateur rapper himself, well he would challenge the young boy to rap battle. And this was the first beat he ever spat to, which was Whoop That Trick. You know it from, well, Hustle and Flow. Everyone in the room was in disbelief with his bars, his passion, and his talent. From that day forward, well, a light bulb had gone off above his head, and he knew his purpose for being on this planet. He was destined to make great music. Now, he'd always been listening to rap and referenced Lil Wayne and Drake as some of his early faves, but it wasn't until he started listening to rappers like Chief Keef and Tyler the Creator that he really became obsessed with the culture and the art form. Now, these were artists who were his age, they were relatable, and well, they'd used the internet to get their music to the masses and change the game. Now, Bands also cites Chance the Rapper as another fave. Now, in his earlier years, young Bands, he went by the moniker of Band Boy, and he got in on the SoundCloud game during its infancy, networking with other aspiring online rappers. After serving his time, Bands' father rejoined the family, and the plan was for him to find honest employment and stay away from the lifestyle of a street hustler. Now a family friend owned a bunch of Zach B restaurants, and well, they got dad a job there. One can imagine this was a pretty shitty gig for a street hustler, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Still waiting on that heifer, Julio. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. As for mom, well she had managed to get herself ahead by becoming a certified nurse. Unfortunately, the job was out in Alabama, which was a three hour drive. Now with the family now living in an apartment complex, this left their kids with a lot of unsupervised time. 
And as kids do, well, they got into all sorts of trouble. Young Bands has a brother who caught a murder charge and has been locked up for years. As for our boy Bands, well, he got sucked into the temptations of skipping school to hang out and smoke weed, and eventually he dropped out in the 10th grade. Now, mom wasn't happy. She didn't want him going down a similar path as his brother and his father, and she would plead with him to stay in school. Speaking of pops, well, his gig at Zaxby's, it wasn't cutting it, and the family was soon to discover that he had returned to working the streets. Now, mom wasn't gonna go through this hell a second time, so one day while Pops was out doing his thing, well, the family, they packed up all their stuff and they moved. And at the time of this recording, well, dad is back behind bars serving another five years. Now, amongst his peers, Bands described himself as, I was in my own lane, I did my own thing, I was in a fashion, everybody would f with me, hung with the older kids, that's why I ended up skipping school, smoking weed, chilling with cars, you know. He also managed to make some money and support himself when he was in the ninth grade. Now, you might think this is the apple doesn't fall far from the tree story, but it's not. Young Bands Network of Friends Online, well, they were starting to pop off. We're talking about some of the biggest names in hip-hop today. Lil Yachty, 21 Savage, Playboy Cardi, XX Tentacion, and Ski Bass the Slump God. And his own SoundCloud account, well, it was getting lots of hits. For example, his track, Four Teaspoon, featuring Playboy Cardi, well, he had recorded this when he was just 15 years old, and the track had been streamed over 37 million times. He had become a viral hit. Now, still a teenager, Bands was getting invited to perform at shows. One such event was out at Fort Lauderdale, but a tragedy struck on the way to the Texas airport. Him and his crew, they were traveling in two cars, and both got involved in an accident. And this brought him unwanted attention from Texas police officers. His brother and his manager ended up getting locked up in bands, although he was allowed to catch his flight. All his boys had his money, so he ended up going to the show empty-handed with nowhere to stay. Now, X, he was the first person to greet him when he showed up, and he told him that he f with his music. He also offered him a place to stay after the show. Bands told me, as soon as I met X, it was nothing but love. The SoundCloud rap scene was still nothing like it is today. It was a small show with bands, 21 Savage, Ski Mass, and X. Well, they were all performing for less than 100 people, but at least the boys were making moves. Now, the first night they stayed at a hotel, compliments of the show, and after that, well, bands, he spent four or five days at Young Zion Spot. This is the members only house. And Bands actually sent me a video from one of his nights hanging with the boys, and this is a bit of an exclusive. It was while staying in this house that X, Ski Mask, and Young Bands, well, they recorded I Love It When They Run. And Bands recalled this being done in a bedroom, the closet shaking, and X just screaming. Dirty face, I'm like dirty face, I'm like fuck his bitch, no Bobby bitch. Returning to Atlanta via Greyhound bus, well, Bands, he had no idea how big this track would become and how impactful his group of peers would have on the music industry. Now, back home, Bands did what he had to. Although he was caught up in the street life, he told me that his priorities were always on his music. Unlike his siblings or associates, he knew he had a gift. He had prospects, and he knew he was bound for greatness. Now, unfortunately for Bands, his career, it would be put on hold, with him catching a murder and burglary charge at the age of just 15. Now, after spending a month in county jail and another four months at a Metro Juvenile Detention Center, well, he was then released and put on house arrest. A punishment he's still dealing with to this day. He's like the highest person in the juvenile like who run it, you know what I'm saying? So right before I left the court, I asked him to tell the judge that I've been doing good. Like, I ain't getting no fight. He told me, he said, you don't get no fights. Why you, um, your next court date? While he was locked up, Bands caught word of the ascent of Little Yachty that he had been hired to model for Yeezy. Yeah, he knew things were about to pop off, but there wasn't much he could do for behind bars. Thankfully, some good behavior allowed him to await his future court from home, and it was there that this kid put in the work. Now, we'll get to the rest of his story in just a second, but I gotta tell you guys about candy pants, cause it's getting a little smoky in there! You've all heard of candy pants, right? Well, if the name doesn't ring a bell, I got a feeling you've seen them before. Candy Benz was named Best Vaporizer of 2018 by High Times due to its combination of popular technology and flashy design. And Candy Benz, well, it's quickly become the go-to choice for vaping in the hip-hop and rap community. I'm talking co-signs from DJ Khaled, Fatboy SSE, Young M.A., Amber Rose, and ASAP Rocky. 
In fact, ASAP's got his own line known as the Flacco Jody Collection and Amber Rose. Well, there's a reason there's billboards of her all over Los Angeles promoting the brand, because she's got her own signature line. Now, candy pens are for those 18 years and older, and uh, well, seeing as I'm the official YouTube ambassador, they've given me the ability to get you 25% off your entire order during checkout. There's a link down below. Use the promo code BTWF25 to get into all this goodness. We also filmed an unboxing like video on my second channel. You're gonna wanna check that out as well. With bands locked up in his Atlanta home, he got to the internet and started putting out some new work. In just a few short months, the game had changed dramatically, with Little Pump and Smoke Perk becoming massive stars. He got to work pumping out tracks via SoundCloud, working with producers including Young Icy and Murda Beats. He also collabed on tracks with Little Skies, Matt Ox, Killy, and Juice World, just to name a few. Now there was his Murda Beats produced Fortnite track featuring young bands Lil Yachty and Ski Mask, which turned the loading screen into a viral rap hit. He also dropped Young Bands Volume 1 through 5 through 2017 and 2018. That's a lot of content in a, in a short amount of time. And it also made his music available on Apple, iTunes, and Spotify, earning the kid a bit of bread. Now, outside of the music, he met a girl named Lauren with whom they now have a baby boy together. He spends his free time taking care of his baby and squeezing in a little Fortnite when he can. Of course, being a rap superstar in house arrest, it can be frustrating. And when bands left the house to shoot a music video, his parole officer saw a clip, and that resulted in a bond violation. He was about to go back to prison, but the judge thankfully showed mercy. He was able to showcase his passion and his career trajectory, and the judge, well, she made it possible for him to go on tour, do interviews, all while under supervision. And this gave him the ability to perform at Rolling Loud and Lyrical Lemonade Summer Bash. Speaking on how he connected with Lyrical Lemonade and Cole Bennett, well the two had plans to film a music video, but at the time bands he couldn't leave his house. His now manager Jake ended up grabbing some bright green plastic tablecloths from a nearby party city, and they film what I'm about to show you. And this year is never before seen footage. Although the plans to make this video with my hood up would fall through, he still connected with Cole Bennett, and they got to work filming videos for Dresser in Chicago, Lonely in Atlanta, and Ryden out in Malibu. I've never been to the beach, except when I shot the video. It was beautiful. Had the birds, you know. His track, I Feel Like Young Scooter, it caught the attention of Young Scooter himself, and soon enough, Young Bands had found himself a mentor and a collaborator in both Young Scooter and Future. Now, having no father figure, he told me these boys' mentorship, it's really helping him through things that he hadn't even thought through himself. Now, he's also been deeply hurt by the loss of his friend X, and he's released the tribute song, So Long My Friend. You're definitely gonna wanna check that out. Now, I asked Bands if he feel like he's made it or not, and he told me, I haven't made it yet because I'm still on house arrest. It doesn't feel like it's fully happened. One Twitter user hit up Bands stating, why young Bands always sound like he recorded in his bedroom while his parents are sleeping? To which he famously replied, Dude, cause I am, I'm on house arrest. Bands has also thrown a bit of shade in Russ's direction via Twitter, which I find kinda hilarious. Now while he waits to get off house arrest, he continues to bust his ass, and he has new collaborations and new material coming. He told me he's got two projects he's working on and his first official mixtape. He's also got collabs with OGZ, Rich the Kid, and Kid Cudi that are coming soon. He also told me that what's driving him was that he wants to be the best. He wants to be known for making the best music. As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name's Michael McCrudden. We make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. Thanks again to Candy Pens. You can check them out. There's a link down below. Also, be sure to give young bands a follow over on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. Let us know who's next in the comments down below. See you guys in another video. Boom!